Bienvenidos al Spotlight de The Película TV y se lo vamos a dedicar al comienzo de verano con el estreno de The Fall Guy. Tenemos exclusivas con Emily Blunt y Ryan Gosling. Name is Juan Fernandez from The Película in Puerto Rico. Hey guys, it is a pleasure hey. to talk to you about The Fall Guy. And one of the things I love the most is that the Ryan's character is worrying about over romanticizing the relationship. But one of the things that I really appreciate it, besides the setting him on fire several times, is how sort of the emotions of, of the romance is really grounded and it feels real, even with the banter, which doesn't really happen in this type of movie, in this type of relationship. So Ryan, you pushed for that uh, in the development of uh, the incarnations of the script. I, I wonder why, and you knew that that was the right way to go, and how was it working with Emily and finding that place that was fun, but true also? <laughs> well, look, I had an opportunity to work with Emily Blunt, so I wanted to do it as much as I could, and it felt like, you know, their relationship was... It, this is a it's a love letter this film it's a love letter to making films it's a love letter to the stunt community it's a love letter to the audience and being an audience and and also so love is at the core really yeah. and you know when working with david and kelly as well the director and producer who are also married you know there's such a beautiful love story there between the two of them and they they met on a film they fell in love they mm. make movies together so we had the perfect okay. sort of template right there and so it all felt like in this sort of meta nature of the movie that we would uh, incorporate that into the film. It's a two-part question, it's not a Barbara Walters type question, but would you ever work with a director like the character that you play in this one? And then the second one is, if do you think you, if you would ever direct a movie, would you direct a movie like the one she's making? Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if I would go for something as ambitious as Metal Storm for my first rodeo, but I think she... <laughs> I would like to work with a director like Jodie. I think she's approachable. I just want someone who has a spirited opinion and yet someone who's open to other spirited opinions. I think she's collaborative. I think she's warm. She's kind of accessible, hopefully. She's a little chaotic, that's okay. She's very intuitive. Intuitive, I like a creative whirlwind. I like it, I can get on board with it. I don't want to see someone with their head in their hands, not knowing what they're doing. She's kind to the crew. She's, Good to she's the crew. defending them against she the, first the first AD, AD who's berating them. And she's kind of hard on herself and like, you want that. I want to work with directors who are questioning everything all the time in a great positive way. All right, so Ryan, this movie is all about sort of making the guys who have been invisible, the stunt guys who have been invisible, visible, and, and it sort of falls on your character. But when you have David who did it, you know, and then you have a fantastic stunt scene, do you feel the pressure or is that actually something that you felt they got your back and you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to do this uh, on screen with you? I just thought, even when I first started talking to David about the film, that there's no one else who could make this movie but him. I mean, I, I, it was so perfect to work with someone who was a stunt performer and a, and a really incredible one at that, and, you know, to, to, to reflect the stunt community. This is the third time I played a stunt person, but it's really the first time I got to actually delve into the realities of it. And it's just, it's a fascinating profession. They're the unsung heroes of our industry. It's its an art form. Uh, it, you, it's inseparable from the history of film. So much of what we love about movies was created by stunt designers and stunt performers. So I knew David would surround us with the best people and yeah. he did. And I had incredible, um, you know, team playing Colt. So I had <laughs> Ben Jenkins, uh, Logan Holiday, Troy Brown, Uh, Justin Eaton. It took all of us to make one fall guy. So, wow. um, yeah, it was really, it was just, it was, I, I knew I was in great hands. And so I, you know, obviously I felt the pressure to sort of honor them, but I also felt like um, I so, so well taken care of and like I couldn't have a better team to do it. All right, so my time is up. So last two seconds to tell you the movie is amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. So it's been a thank pleasure you. talking to you about oh, it. Thank so you. you guys Thanks have a so good much. Day. Bye bye. See you.